So there's a routine when it comes to getting back to school, right? Getting the kids to bed on time, uh, easing anxieties, things that can get pretty complicated. Yeah, from academics to social pressure, we've got social media yeah. in the mix now. Kids really dealing with a lot. So Dr. Anna Shire is a Scottsdale psychiatrist here to talk about how do kids make that transition from the summer to the classroom a little bit easier? Because this is a high peak anxiety yes, time for kids. It's an, yeah, and even for parents, let's yeah. face right. it. <laughs> let's talk about bedtime first because they've been sure. staying up late all summer long, <laughs> maybe doing a little bit of whatever they please, taking naps during the day, sleeping in. You can't do that anymore. Right, right. So these days approaching school, it might be a week. Some schools have actually already gone back into session, but for those who haven't yet, my son goes back on the 7th, I think. Mm -hmm. We're already starting to inch his bedtime earlier. And then the key, too, is waking them up earlier. And you mentioned the naps. Sorry, kids, no naps, because <laughs> yeah. that will throw up your bed. What if they refuse? What if they just stay up and stay up because you can't watch them? How do you enforce those rules? So cutting off electronics a couple of hours before bedtime okay. is important, especially if they're you know, exciting things like, you know, Halo or mm -hmm, Fortnite, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, <laughs> but in addition to that, um, one thing that's really helpful for me with my son, I use melatonin. Um, so for the little ones, two to three milligrams, for the bigger ones, five to six milligrams, but, you know, not to be used every night, but yeah. that's something that's natural that our brain releases anyway to tell us that it's time mm -hmm. to go to sleep. So even when we travel into different time zones, that can be helpful for mm -hmm. resetting our our body's mm -hmm. natural clock. And doctor, I know a lot of kids, me included, when I was a kid, used to get those back to school jitters, just the anxiety of starting something new, a new school, mm -hmm. a new classroom, a new teacher. Mm -hmm. How do you kind of start doing that and kind of talking with your kids about what to expect and how to kind of ease those jitters? Sure. You know, pretty much every school has some form of mixer or welcome or meet your teacher sort of event. So definitely go to all of those if you can. Okay. If there's any sort of an email list that the parents have, if you can reach out to other parents, especially if it's a new school, if the kids can meet some other kids, that helps so much so that you're not going in completely without a single friend or friendly mm -hmm. friendly face. So Wait, as long about as they know some 30 people. seconds. So I just want to mm -hmm. ask you about like bullying and social media. Yes. Kids are worried about that. How do parents calm their nerves? So social media in general is an issue because kids so much over the summer are, you know, inter interacting online. Mm -hmm. So getting them even just earlier in the latter half of the summer to start interacting face to face can be helpful because oh, it's so different mm -hmm. learning how to respond to people mm -hmm. in the moment versus thinking about it or getting your feelings mm -hmm. hurt after you think and think and think mm -hmm. about a particular, you know, comment on social media. So getting them to be able to manage how they're interacting in real time is helpful because then there's less drama that comes up yeah. that people are going to post on social media later on down the line that's going to cause further pain. You have such great tips. If folks are watching at home and want to get some more information, maybe talk to you, how can they do that? Sure. So they can go to our website. Um, it's drshire.com. Uh, we have a practice with psychologists and then a, a few uh, psychiatrists as well. So right. give awesome. us a call if you need help. Hopefully we can have you back yeah. again when it gets a little bit closer to the school and answer some more questions because I think it's really Absolutely. helpful. Absolutely. Thank I you so much. Here. It was great to see you. Great advice. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll be right back.